Bit of a load test. Ah, oh, no. It's just clicked over. It's clicked over to the grid. I missed it. The wife made a coffee. I was just the first test of it actually, actually running. So that's all right. Just shaky video. Sorry about that. It wasn't exactly planned. So she's making a coffee. Oh, there we go. Drop back down again. It's in line mode. She's just dropped right back down. Back to 500 watts. Wonder how long it takes to kick back in again. I don't actually know. I've never watched this before. I don't know if it does kick back in again. Uh, that's disappointing. I wonder if it's because the battery voltage went so low. The battery voltage, I think, went down to 22 volts or something. It's pulling 110 amps or somewhere around that. Give or take. Uh, that's disappointing. Might have clicked back over to line mode just because of the battery, I think. Uh, so it's not going to go back again. Uh, that's disappointing. Well, it's not really. I mean, it's a good test. So, the problem being is now that all night it's going to run off line mode rather than battery. And we've got all that extra... Well, we haven't got that much battery there, but it's better than nothing. So... I might have to. This is one. This seems to be one downside. Let's get rid of that. Is that the fact that there's no button? You'd think you'd be able to right click. Can't see my mouse. You'd think you'd be able to right click there or something or click it and actually click each one of them and actually choose which way it happens. But the only way to actually get that back running again is by clicking up here. No, that's the wrong one. Ignore me. That's a. We'll edit that one out. Post production will grab that. And I've got 22.5 back to grid. Why it's so low, I don't know. I think I was playing with it earlier. And back to discharge. Now, if I change that, what have we got? So, if I change that back to 24 volts and click apply, okay, my videography sucks. It's in line mode still. It's not real. I don't. I don't know whether the software does it instantly, but just doesn't say it up on the screen or not. But she's not clicking back over to battery mode. Hmm. It's disappointing. Arms oh, getting sore. Need one of those fancy mounts or something. Okay, that's disappointing. It's not clicking back over to line mode. It really should be. No, sorry, battery mode. It is on line mode at the moment. Uh, so we've got back to discharge voltage is 24 volts. So that should really mean Back to discharge voltage, 24 volts, and that's showing a battery voltage is 20, almost 26 volts, 25 volts. Sorry. So why aren't you going back to battery mode? And is it worth recording me talking to myself with nothing? My workshop is dark. There's a lap around nowhere. Still line mode. 
So if anybody knows how to click that back faster, let me know. Apart from, apart from changing that low voltage, which is going to annoy me, I reckon. Or got to get better batteries, or more batteries maybe. Who knows, maybe it's the cheap junk that I've got. Could be that, could definitely be that. Anyway, I'll end that recording here, and um, as I've seen a lot of people say like, rate and subscribe. I think that's got something to do with how much money they make from people doing that sort of thing. So, like, rate and subscribe, people. All the four people that are going to watch this video at any rate. Cheers. Okay, so after about 15 minutes of messing around, it finally went back to battery mode. I'm sure it doesn't know what's going on. 23.47 volts on the battery. And it's about 7 o'clock at night. And I reckon it's 80% capacity. I'm sure there's something going on here. It's... I think... That can't be trusted. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. So... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I guess we live and learn. I don't think this program is... I think it's more for general monitoring than anything else. And... Um, what I've since noticed is the actual logging software. You click on the log and it only does it from the last time the software was turned on. It doesn't do it. There's no there's no stuff there. Oh look. The device has gone missing again. Now that's something interesting. I was doing that before. Now, to get around that, I close the program out. So it's Windows 7, right click, exit. So there you go, it's not running in the background. Now with the uh, cancel, with the watch power, right click, and run it as an administrator. Yes to the prompt. I could change all that to run as administrator anyway, but... And now, if I go up here... The data logging's back again. So unless you run this as administrator, even though this is an administrative account... Browse... Oh, look at that. But... We look at the time, and I'm trying to do this with one hand. 18, 18, 18. Now I'd set it uh, battery mode, line mode, line mode, battery mode. So what are we in at the moment? We're in battery mode. So why is it saying line mode? I'm sure that this program's not really what it. Oh no, there we go. Battery mode updated it again. So I so this software only does data logging when the software is turned on. So we've got a bit of a, a time gap there. Where is it? There yeah, the first one, 37 to 53 minutes. So that's when I rebooted the software trying to get it back to battery mode again. So the software doesn't log anything, like there's no storage on the device at all. The only, only logging comes from when your computer's switched on and watch power is actually turned on. So if you want that data logging function, it's um, pretty ordinary. So now I'm going to have to run a computer all night, which is completely against what I'm trying to do and save power, just so I can watch these logs and and um, see how much power I don't have because it's running out pretty quick today but it was a raining most of today so it didn't really get a great deal of into the battery bank but again that says 23.77 that's 78% capacity that is um, a little bit wrong so 22% load yeah so it's not horrible I guess but uh, I don't, I don't really care that that's at 23%. I've got it set to turn itself off at 22, 
and then back on again at 24. So if it clicks out because it overdraws, it'll automatically click back in at, at 24 volt and or at five o'clock in the morning when we start getting pa um, power onto the panels, it'll click back in again. So we'll maximize our savings. Again, not worried about the battery bank. Oh, I'm a little bit worried, but not terribly. So, okay, right, that's gonna call it a night. I'm gonna actually leaving this computer running because um, G-Card is locking, logging into it just to have a look as well because he's obviously got his system up the road that's 70 times more expensive than mine but I don't know, it's still good collaborating with other people, uh, the locals in the area and if anybody else is in the area <coughs> with one of these units um, or any off-grid stuff I'd love to come over and have a look, have a chat, do a quick video, you know um, I know there's a few of you in Queensland or in and around the place. I wouldn't mind catching up with you and um, meeting in person. And yeah, I, I won't profess to be the most um, knowledgeable in the field, but I do quite enjoy it. It's a bit of a bit of an outlet. So that's enough of a rant from me tonight, and I'll upload it so three people can watch it, and all the rest won't. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Good night. Like, rate, and subscribe. That part's important. Cheers.